Alright guys, so we have been talking about the medical lectures all along. Today I decided that my students should eat some fun stuff as well so that while they are studying they do not lose a lot of energy. So today I am going to present to you chicken kadai. So we will make chicken kadai today and that would be Dr. Mubeen making chicken kadai for you. So alright, get ready for that. Alright, now for the ingredients we will start from that and this is I walking around with the camera now so this is chicken here uh, about two pounds of chicken and from there if we come here this is really salt here um, red pepper here and again uh, how much salt do you put it in it's up to you how much pepper do you put it in is up to you it does not really matter too much some cumin Cumin, I would like you to use cumin in the early part of kadai. Uh, if you like, you can skip it. I really want to make sure that you know what pieces are important, what ingredients are important and what are not. Honestly, at the end of the day, you could just fry this chicken with pepper and salt and you would, have, you would enjoy the taste of it. This would just make it kadai. So cumin, then this is garam masala. Garam masala, if you do not have garam masala, you can use black pepper. I would prefer if you get garam masala and you can actually go to an Indian or a Pakistani store and you can ask for the garam masala and they'll give it to you. Uh, this is an empty one which doesn't have much. Uh, here I've already sliced a few uh, a green pepper. So this is one long green pepper which I've sliced it. And in my recipe you would see that the way I introduce the pepper and the tomato is a different way as compared to the regular other recipes. Uh, cup, four tomatoes here. Uh, I am going to peel this ginger and garlic and I am going to use those in the recipe as well. So again garlic, ginger, tomatoes, red uh, green pepper, salt, red pepper, cumin, garam masala and very important thing yogurt. yogurt. Again I am using low fat yogurt but you can choose the yogurt which you like. Um, and what else and the, and the chicken itself I am going to be cooking it into this uh, wok here into this kadai here so get ready for that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and dice and uh, dice these tomatoes and peel the garlic and other and I'll see you back in one second all right guys I'm back so what I have done is out of all of those garlics I have crushed a few of them if you see here on the ginger, ginger is still here so I did not use all of it, I used a very tiny amount and I crushed a part of the ginger and I've made those long strips for the remaining part. I will use the long strips near the end of the kadai and I would use the crushed part in the beginning of the kadai. The tomatoes are diced as well so what I'm going to do is again the same thing. Some part of the tomatoes will be used in the beginning and then some in the end so that is my, my tip for this uh, recipe that do not use everything all once but actually divide it into two pieces some pieces in the beginning so these will become part of the kadai itself and they would give their taste and then some part later which would give freshness and here is the uh, one more thing which I forgot of course we would need oil so let's get started again just to recap we've gotten garlic here ginger um, tomatoes yogurt green pepper sliced, salt, red pepper, red chili pepper, cumin, garam masala. You can actually do away with the garam masala if you want. You can do away with the cumin. Um, but I would recommend that tomatoes, ginger, garlic and pepper and salt is there. This is the chicken itself and here is our kadai. So let's get started. I'm going to turn the kadai on. So this would be going. So the very first step for the kadai will be to actually put to actually put the oil in it. So I'm going to put some oil in the kadai. All right. So oil is there. Uh, one thing which we need to understand is that the oil. If if you see, I hope you can see it from the camera as well. That there are going to be waves in the oil. As the oil starts heating up more, it is going to start having more and more waves in it. 
and we are going to look for those waves once those waves are higher in number or frequency this is the doctor speaking now then we'll have oil enough that we would now start um, cooking with it the other thing th with this kadai this is really important that is that this kadai other than the water coming from the tomatoes themselves there will be no water added to this kadai so do not put any water do not put any um, onions as well so no onions no water just simple straight oil and the water will be coming from the tomatoes all right so i'm going to wait for the oil to warm meanwhile i will see you in a few minutes all right so we're back um, the oil seems to be do you see those little waves in it i hope you can see them these waves are the ones see these waves so that actually means that the oil is heated up properly now what we're going to do is and we have to be very careful we are going to introduce the garlic and ginger and some cumin right now so the the important thing is that when we introduce those things you have to make sure that these do not burn out so i'm going to i'm going to do it very fast and as soon as i put them in then i will put and fry them a little bit and then i'll put the uh, chicken on it so garlic goes in you see garlic is in some cumin is in before this burns out before this burns out and then some um, um, ginger is in so you see that all is in there uh, you see it is becoming brown so now Okay. You see the sugar? This is what is needed. The sugar is needed. Awesome. All right, guys. So, what I've done is I have fried the chicken from both sides. And remember, this had oil in it, some garlic, cumin, and ginger. Now I'm going to introduce tomatoes and uh, pepper and salt. So we'll go here. We'll we'll get some tomatoes and put them in there. So wait for it while I get something to put the tomatoes in there. So, tomatoes are in there. Remember, the tomatoes have water in them. So that water is going to be really important for the kadai. And as I said, the kadai will have some tomatoes introduced now, and the other tomatoes introduced later. So, do not put everything in there yet. Just a few now. So that is done. Tomatoes are there. I wish I had a camera man who can do this. The tomatoes are there. And you see the simmering or the frying has reduced that is because the tomatoes are giving off their water and that water is cooling down the stuff. So now that the tomatoes are there, the next stuff that I need to do is I need to put the salt and the pepper. So we'll go back here, salt again as according to your taste. Um, I think to me this much seems enough. So that is the salt. Then I'll get the pepper. I like spicy food so I'm going to put a lot of pepper here. So that is done as well. So now we've gotten the salt and pepper. We will we will start frying it. The there is one more way to introduce pepper, and that is that you put the pepper. You make a little space here. That is what I learned from my wife. You make a little space here. You put the pepper here and fry the pepper, and then you mix the pepper in the rest. So that gives a different kind of a taste to fry. So it's up to you which one you use, but 
I've used both and they get sound fine so both are fine for me alright so what I'm going to do is I am going to stir it correctly and mix that stuff the salt and pepper and I'll taste it a little bit if I need to put some more I will put more but remember the chicken is raw yet so do not start tasting early on because that can make you sick so let it fry a little bit more and then you can taste it to see how it sounds ok see you in a bit alright come back what I did was I stirred this fry a little bit more I tasted it a little bit it sounds very good to me so what I'm going to do is, so again as I told you, some things in the beginning and some things at the end. So I'm going to put a little bit of green pepper in it as well. What is the benefit of green pepper at this stage? This green pepper is actually going to melt away in this product. But at this time it's going to give aroma, it's going to give fragrance. So now what we need to do is, we need to cover this. And I'm going to reduce the heat like this. Uh, maybe in halfway and now I'm gonna let it cook so what's gonna happen now is the there is oil already there plus there are tomatoes tomatoes are do you see the water coming up so tomatoes are giving off water that water is now going to accumulate in terms like the steam in here and that steam is going to cook this kadai if you are actually cooking with the open wok then what you do is you keep stirring it and let the steam go off you may have to put some more tomatoes just so that you have some more water but in my way I cover the kadai and I leave it like this for another 5 to 10 minutes and I would let it I will let the chicken cook with the with the water and these uh, you know salt and the pepper so we will come back after 10 minutes and we will continue ok bye so it is still cooking what I am going to do is I am going to quickly see if oh man look at it look at the water this water all of it came from tomatoes which is very interesting so now you know that you did not need water at the end of the day we will want this water to be dried up so what we'll do what we'll do is we will fry it so much see the steam going up so that steam is of course causing the water to lose so we'll fry it so much that all that water which came out of the tomatoes will be dried up and we'll be left with what? We'll left with the oil. Remember your medical students or your doctors, remember lipids and waters. <laughs> so the oil is going to be left here and the water is going to be evaporated. So I'm going to kick up the heat again. And now I just want you to change the side. And now my mission is to get the water dried from here. And once the water is dried, we will actually then introduce the next stage of the tomatoes will introduce if we need to make any adjustments but basically tomatoes and yogurt and really at the end we'll introduce the green pepper and the remaining ginger that's it these guys we don't need them anymore and we do not need this salt we would put garam masala at the end as well so going back here uh, do you see that it is now heating up so I'll come back in a few more minutes and meanwhile I'll keep stirring it. So when I said I, I'll come back, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to keep stirring this kadai now on high heat so that I can evaporate all the water. So I'll come back in a few minutes. So the point is that you keep stirring it and keep frying it till the water evaporates. So I'll show you once it, it's done. Okay, so now do you see that all that water which was in there has evaporated, most of it has evaporated and we have come back to the same oil as before. Now is the last stage of the kadai. So what we'll do is we'll put the remaining tomato in there, the tomato in there, more tomato in there. Let me take care of the tomato for a second. Okay, so the tomatoes are back in there. These are the second set of tomatoes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the fire a little bit. And now I'm going to stir it again and mix it. So this set of tomatoes is going to create a new 
space and we see that chicken is a little bit burnt on some edges that's okay that actually would add to the taste of the kadai that is what my wife tells me so anything that goes wrong with this kadai that is my wife told me and anything which goes right with it is me more the awesome doctor mobi all right so now we've gotten another set of tomatoes in here don't have to fry them so much that you totally lose them these tomatoes we want them to be to become to add to the pulp of the kadai a little bit so i'm going to bring this up again and i'm going to stir this once again so lots of stirring is needed and if you are cooking in a non stick then you're okay the things are not going to stick they're just going to burn like this but if you're cooking in a stick in some pot which would stick then your job is to keep stirring and keep unsticking the substance and actually those things which get stuck to the bottom of the pan and when you scratch them off they actually have awesome taste and again that is my wife's awesome teaching to me i really enjoyed it so as you can see my wife has a great influence on me for for cooking she is my teacher in this area so anyways now we are almost done with the fry and what would happen is that once i i can melt these tomatoes away which is seen Uh, once these tomatoes are melted away then we would have the final touches to the kadai and we'll be done to so see you again in a bit oh. all right guys so i tasted some of the kadai again do you see that the tomatoes are mostly melted away i tasted some of the kadai the salt seems less so i'm going to put the salt back in here i think even this salt might be less we can see and Now I think I'll have to put a little bit of water in it to mix it. But anyway, I'm going to do that. Don't put too much water. So one more thing, the salt was less, so I added a little bit of water. Do you see the water here? So I added some water in which I dissolved the salt, and now I'm going to mix it with the kadai. To otherwise, if you add the salt, the salt is just going to stick to whatever pieces it fell on, and not actually become part of the kadai. So again, salt generally is not needed. Water is not needed, but if you have messed up salt or pepper, then put some water, dissolve it, and then use it. So I think most of the curry is done. What I'll do now is we will put the curry here. I'm going to put the this pepper, the green pepper. But remember, this is now mostly for the garnishing part of it, and it's kind of mixing. Just put it up in there. That is the pepper on there. I like a spotless kitchen. So sorry for all the mess here. And let me clean the mess. Then, use these strips of ginger. Put those strips up here as well. And the most the best part of it the best part the garam masala yes and again if you don't have garam masala you can put black pepper ground black pepper and if you don't have that as well you can just leave it but now this is the kadai ready let's see the kadai this is the beautiful kadai by dr mobi tiger i hope you enjoy it to so my beautiful students my lovely students who are studying hard for usmle and for medicine enjoy your kadai and have